Nadler and I'm back again to explain another science concept. So the last time I did something like this, we explored cancer's causes and effects. So today we're going to delve further into one of the causes, radiation. Radiation. You've definitely heard of it somewhere, whether it's the sun, x-rays, nuclear testing issues, or even smoke detectors, and bananas. Crazy, right? And I'm not kidding about the last one, by the way. So you might be asking yourself, what really is radiation? And is all of it dangerous? Well, I have good news for you. Most radiation is in fact not dangerous to your health. But what's the difference between harmful and harmless radiation? Well, I'm going to explain all of that and more, so get ready. By definition, radiation is the emission or transmission of energy in the form of waves or particles through space or through a material medium. All radiation falls on the electromagnetic spectrum which includes visible light. Radiation with a longer wavelength and a lower frequency is to the left side of optical light, and it's called non-ionizing radiation. Radiation with a shorter wavelength and a higher frequency is to the right side, and is known as ionizing radiation. We'll be focusing on non-ionizing radiation first. Non-ionizing radiation has longer waves and less energy, therefore too slow for our eyes to see. Common examples include power lines and microwaves, radios, both AM and FM, and electronic items. Even though it was considered to be less dangerous than ionizing radiation, non-ionizing radiation can still be detrimental to your health if you are overexposed to it. For instance, if Instagram is your best friend and you spend your whole day updating your makeup IGTV stream, you mean me? Yes, you, contour queen. Don't you know that you can get cancer from that? Okay, on to ionizing. Ionizing radiation is the opposite of non-ionizing, with higher energy waves with a larger frequency. Ionizing radiation has such a high frequency that it can strip electrons off of an atom, hence ionizing it. Yikes. A lethal dose of ionizing radiation can easily mess up cell processes such as protein synthesis and cellular respiration. This could end up causing cancer in the affected cell. So some examples? One major example is the sun, which is actually shining through this window right now. The sun naturally expends waste and other particles in Earth's direction, but the brunt of this is absorbed by the ionosphere, which acts like a shield and creates pretty light shows from time to time. Even so, UV radiation still passes through to some extent, and can have huge consequences if you underestimate them. So if you're that kind of person who doesn't use sunscreen and burns all the time, it not only hurts, it can lead to skin cancer later in life. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, obey all posted signs, try to spend less time on technology, always wear sun protection, and if you're rich you can build a fallout shelter in your basement! I don't really think that many people are that rich though. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this video 